I have a couple more heroes to basically play. All right, let's see here. It's probably worth going to the first thing I should probably do. And it's gonna look around here for now. Basically, there's like a perk here. Unlock the, um, you know, the sorcerer perk by like getting one perk, one gear for sort for wizard. Might as well do that right now. So let's go new game. And let's just go act one here. Wizard. So we got intelligence, less faith. We got fencer. We got transmute. And you got class assist. Down here we got um, you know trust fund, crowd control. Now you see me, Soulmancer. Wonder what form whiff does, but whatever. Let's suspend this here. And there we go, Sorcerer Perk, unlocked. Or, you know, the achievement rider. So, I basically played all the unlocked characters except for the Alchemist tier, so let's play him. The Eccentric tin um, Tinkerer. Able to craft and combine potions and other items, even a crude firearm. Has a full six consumable slots. So, we got some stuff here, Archaeologist. Sense Legendaries. You are more likely to find legendaries than normal. Steady hands, so fair chance, chance to, um, to success and combine. Can sometimes use two items instead of one. Let's see what that's based on in a moment. Uh, synthesis, successfully combining items expires as morale. We don't really, really need morale at this point. I've got plenty of it, so whatever. Gunslinger, you reject melee weapons. Begin with the pistol instead of craft. You can unlock the second pistol later. So if you want to be like a gunman, you can basically do it with this character. And now hiring. Lose craft and instead start with recruit. Pay monsters to hire them as allies if they're smart enough. Yep, you can actually recruit people if you want to with the alchemist, but whatever. Let's get archaeologist. And... Let me get my things. Start with a railing chain of lab coat. And fat of the land. Begin with extra gold and gain more every time you travel to new area. That's great if you want to basically buy stuff. Let's get this though. We'll start with like a more traditional, like, you know, alchemist of a build here, so let's do it. There we go. Be a little bit darker than normal. And by note that, like, the male character is like a purple coat as opposed to, like, you know, The female here, who has like a more traditional one. Well, let's create the character. All right, so we'll do Act One with the, with the Alchemist here, I think, and we'll do it on hard. Six months away, and the estate's overrun with bandits. You'll have to take this up with his lordship. Alright, so here's the Alchemist. He's a little bit different from your characters because he actually crafts stuff for this guy. He starts with a healing potion, a small vial containing a fragment resolve that restores life when applied. He's got blinding powder and scrap materials. That didn't work. Maybe you can turn these odds and ends into something useful. Alright, so the thing about this character is all about crafting stuff, so assemble something um, useful from the um, distress of your kills. You charge by gaining experience. And combine. Combine two items to make something new. Chance of success is based on intellect. Recharges with intellect. Alright, so that's based on what well, that's all about. Alright, so there's our crafting in action. Basically, we craft ourselves a healing potion. Alright, so, here's this guy's stats. 
Um, I probably should have shown off normal, but whatever, you get to see that maybe, maybe later. So, typical short sword right here. Note there's the pistol right there. So, basically I'll get like a weapon, I can actually use it range if I want to. There's construct. So this upgrades craft, allowing you to randomly create higher tier items. Or you get invigorate. You recover two health every time you use an item. There's also chemistry over here, increases the duration of all item effects. There's tinker over here. Randomly upgrades one piece of equipment whenever you are um, you move to a new area uh, area up to a limit. So basically, like you know, upgrade your stuff, which is nice. There's powder. Refine your powder for deadlier shot. Increases pistol's damage. So I can upgrade my like you know items as I go around, or basically get like you know more powder for the pistol. Well, let's get to it. Now, I've never really been really good at the Alchemist, but we'll see how I basically go here. And it's that way. Okay, you both saw me. Okay, we took out our first kill. I note that big part of the Alchemist is basically finding items on the ground to use. So, we're actually being more stealthy here than like most of it, you know, the other heroes. It's a dangerous looking kobold over there. We'll avoid the park captain. Nice little crickle there. And there. Yeah, you can already see I'm taking lots of damage here. We only have like so much health in this character, and it's not got the greatest stats basically to work with. Let's teleport. There we go. We got access to craft again. Another healing potion. Alright, so this is probably a good time to show off this. So, combine basically lets you combine like two items into like two different things. So, the idea here is you basically want to combine like, you know, similar like, you know, items to each other to like get like, you know, your items basically from them. If you try and combine like, you know, dry and like, you know, dry, that'll work as well. But if you basically try and like you know, combine two different items, like you know, dry and wet, it may not work as well as you want to. So you'll notice that the chances are getting lower and lower here. There's a scavenger. Perfect, we killed off this guy. I do like health, but not at the cost of like, you know, my intellect. That's something I note by the way, I have like these like, you know, shades here. Perfect for the Runa's hangovers after your more recreational concussions. Alright, so this guy's got poison powder. Let's buy that. He's also got boots here for stealth and a superb breastplate. I might come back to him in a bit, but we're just gonna hold off for now.
Perfect. And there are some boots for speed. I right, you know what, let's do it now. So poison powder, it's a dry item. And there's a, uh, you know, the, you know, scrap material right here. Now, no probably different items, um, levels will actually have a different effects as well. So tier one versus tier two is basically learning the effects as well. This stuff is basically like, you know, tier one, so basically a higher chance basically being combined. Basically, the idea here is you want to combine like you know lower element, um, tier stuff into higher tier stuff. There's some sleep powder. More gold. There's the exit. I guess it's time to hunt down the captain and the, and the kobolds. Ow. There's a potion of speed for my troubles. That's tier one. That's all the tier one. Potion reflection. So there's a two, tier two item right there. Ow. I only got three HP left. Oh well, we can come on these to basically get some heal heals I need to or just use them right now. There's a level up. Alright, note that Tinker is basically all the way down here. So you can basically get it right away if you want to. Or you can get powder. Um let's go for Precision right now. I like to get the pistol right away because the pistol basically you know makes it a lot easier for you early on for all these reasons. Good enough. I don't like the arch being next to the kobold. That works. I just realized I was fighting in the bush, which is kind of stupid. Alright, well, that's all of them. I think we're going to go back to um, the scavenger to pick up some armor. This is sort of helping me out to survive here. The boots would be nice, but eh. It's really the armor I want here, I think, so look at that. Actually, you know what? Let's buy a whole lot. Oh, I already had that achievement. Alright, well, whatever. Well, now we're a little bit smart with self being armored. Hmm. I'm thinking about combining, like, you know, the poison powder with, like, one of the dust over there. There's some more sleep powder. There's a bit more health. These aren't just bandits, this is an army. Let's 
so many cobalts around. Well, we got two coals there. Playing around the bushes. Gloves of Dexterity, useful. We're gonna say no to that. There's some more poison powder. We'll take this. All right, a bone cracker. That'll lower my speed by a lot, but we'll get a lot of damage from it. Gonna say no though. The thing about this game is that speed is too valuable to give up. It would be nice, basically, like you know, games like you know, movement speed and the attack speed are they're separate. But oh well, simple game is simple. Our potion reflection. Honestly, I'm probably never going to use potions of reflection, so. There are the potions of form. So, potion of the reckless. Only attackers take damage themselves. Here's magic mirror. All right, does a level up. Let's get wits next. That lowers my attack by one, but gives me good damage, so we'll go for it. Very nice. Ooh, a swift dagger. More speed. There's some boots of escape. We'll say no to that. Okay, let's teleport over here. Let's get down here. Hmm. Probably this guy's like it slows me now, I guess, so that's a thing. Okay. 
Okay, my magic mirror shattered. Very nice. Yeah, I'm playing sort of like a thief here because, like, you know, we're not very strong, this character, in, like, you know, combat, so... We need all the advantages we can get. Alright, that's basically all of them. There's a scavenger. So, he's got Polymorph there, which I can't buy. A hardy breastplate. Uh, the superb breastplate is good enough, so that's fine. We'll take magic mapping though, so I can combine it. There's a scroll of wisdom. Perfect. There's some more blinding powder. Well, that shows how powerful the magic mirror basically is. Another archer. I feel like a cobalt trickster. Except they're so, supposed to blink as opposed to like what I'm doing here. I like my stealth. Oh, there's sleep. Pistol! Now, what do I want to give up for it? This will give up Magic Mirror. So, that's how Pistol works, by the way, is go BAM! And you die. By the way, that alerts like everyone to your presence. So, you want to be like, you know, a little bit careful using it. So yeah, allow devastating short range weapon. You reload by resting. Oh. There we go, reloaded. You think it hurt me? Yep, the gold pistol. All right, well, I'm not if you're a gunslinger, you can basically do it twice because you'll have like two pistol skills. Full plate armor. Less speed, or more speed, but less defense. I like the idea of having more speed. That's scary. 
Uh, drop this for now. Hmm. Potion of Rage. Well, not really, really what I need right now, but I guess I'll use it. Dark Goblin. Bone Cracker. Nope. Hello. Forgot to reload my pistol. Blam. 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 Nice critical. Alright, well, that was fun. Hmm. Alright, so. I'll know basically if I try and like combine stuff like this now, it's gonna get really, really hard. But there's like some really powerful tier 4 items you basically get. They will try and like show you eyes. Is there any more treasure on the map? Let's just go see. There's the exit. Put that there for now. Another potion of thorns. Honestly, I don't want to use potion of thorns, so I don't really have the XP for it, but you know, whatever. Ah, uh, I think I'll probably save those until you try and get like construct here. So let's try and get the level five. They've taken the town. The castle must be under siege. By the way, I also sent something of great value, so you can see like the yellow dot indicating it's a legendary item or something. Okay, I want to be careful here. Very careful here. Cool. Nice long sword. I realize it's going to drop my speed a lot, but... I need to have some damage at this point, because, you know, we're going for more offensive now. Okay, there we go. We're up upgrading that. So, assemble something dexterous and all that stuff. There's some more anti-venom. 
Oh, okay, so I thought that would actually improve this a little bit, but I guess it doesn't. Alright, so there's a fail. Basically, when you fail, you lose one of your items, and it gets turned into, like, you know, something like this, so strange fluid. That didn't work. You're not sure what this is, but you're pretty sure you shouldn't drink it. Well, that sucks, but well. There's an offering. Okay, I didn't realize it was that, that low and the, the fire was basically that high. Makes sense though. Hmm. What to combine now? Doesn't work. Scroll summoning, that's pretty powerful. Windrunners! So this will kill my stealth unless I'm flying. We already know what he's done, right? Because, you know, I just have to, you know, fly as soon as I basically, you know, take it into the air. Hmm. That's too low. I could try to combine these, apparently. One and two shot, let's try it. Well, that happened. Luckily, I only lost a potion of forms there, but whatever. I was going to alert everyone to my presence, but oh well. Not down here, apparently. There we go, reload that. All right, a total failure, as you can see, is basically total failure. You can't salvage anything from it. Glass. So that's tier free. There's another tier free. Well, that turned into scrap material. There's more gold. The nice thing about my pistol is that it basically always hits, so it's fine basically if you like, you know, kills my accuracy. More sleeping powder.
Why not? Oh, we actually got something out of that. Oh yeah, but when I'm flying, I actually fly over the reeds and stuff like that, so I have to watch out for that. Uh, double kill. Don't really need to, you know, the magic re um, resistance here. I accidentally threw something at this guy as opposed to... Well, that's all of them. I doubt there's any more goodies around, so... Never mind, I always find goodies, because, you know, that's when I find them. Hmm. Let's put this here. There's a mana potion. We'll keep the reinforcement packs for now. Maybe we can find something to upgrade with it. And there we go. Area cleared. 